to give us a better view on enabling true PC gaming possibilities on this C device, please welcome Vikas Gupta, CEO of Trends Gaming. Hello, Vikas. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for joining me. It's great to be here. At Trends Gaming, we specialize in the development of software portability technologies for the electronic entertainment industry. Our technology allows games designed for one platform to be deployed across alternate platforms and operating systems without the need for arduous redevelopment. We started out in 2001 with our Sedega product, which allows us to enable games for the Linux operating system. Over the years, we've enabled hundreds of great top-tier content for Linux. Back in 2005, when Apple transitioned to the Intel processor, we saw another incredible opportunity to innovate and dominate the Mac gaming market. So we very quickly adapted our technology, and we created our CIDR portability engine. Many of the Mac games in the marketplace today that consumers love to play and enjoy utilize our CIDR technology. And many of those games would never have made it to the Mac had it not been for our technology. Earlier this year, when we first learned about the Intel, uh, Intel CE architecture, we saw an incredible opportunity to innovate yet again by bringing great gaming content directly to the television. So we requested an Intel innovation platform and the SDK, and within a few days, we had a number of great titles up and running very quickly. We're actually very excited to finally see a digital home architecture with a true applications and graphics processing capability to enable a wide assortment of games. You know, I, when I first saw, saw what you did in such a short time, I knew we had something very special here. Well, Eric, I'm very pleased to introduce to you Trans Gaming's Game Tree TV gaming service. Our Game Tree TV service Excuse me, our Game Tree TV service is designed to provide a full and comprehensive gaming experience directly on the television. What we're striving to deliver is a service that can be easily integrated into digital home architecture products that are based on Intel architecture. We're developing a service that allows CE manufacturers, service operators, and content creators to capitalize on the real success of the digital home experience that you mentioned earlier today. Our gaming service also seamlessly blends the innovation of technology with a compelling consumer experience under a business model that allows for new monetization strategies for the entire CE industry. So, with that, uh, so how will content creators be ensured of their um, titles can be part of the CE uh, products out there? Great question, Eric. Transgaming is developing a Game Tree TV SDK, which will allow game developers and publishers to either adapt their existing content for the service or develop brand new content. Once a game developer is ready, they simply submit their games and titles to Transgaming, and we'll take care of validating and provisioning those games on the Game Free TV service, thereby making them available to a CE consumer audience worldwide. We've already partnered with leading content creators, and a number of great titles can be experienced here at IDF. One of the other important elements of what we're delivering is that one of the other important elements of what we're delivering is that we're also providing a wide array of pricing models for uh, content creators. That includes purchase, rental, subscription, and even ad-supported. So the game dev developers could actually try different pricing and promotion ideas. Exactly. That, that model's actually worked very well for the mobile platform. Plus, since game developers and publishers have a large volume of back catalog content, we provide them with, with a vehicle to, uh, to provide, we provide them with a vehicle to generate incremental revenue on existing assets. Great. So how does the service actually work? Well, the best way to explain that to you is to show you an example. So right now, we're sitting here on my personalized home page. If we navigate from my home page experience to the store, you can see that we've got a great variety of different genres of games and a number of great titles that certainly have appeal to all family members in the home. If we scroll back to the top of the list, let's choose World of Goo. I've heard great things about that game. A single click and the game immediately begins to download. Now, the game is being downloaded directly from Transgaming's content delivery networks. And as you can see, once the game has been downloaded, the button immediately changes from buy to play. A single click, and the game immediately begins to launch. Now, Eric, while the game is launching, let me point out one other very important element of the service. We recognize that consumers don't necessarily want a keyboard and mouse in their living room. So part of the experience that we're building includes the integration of custom peripheral devices that enhance the game playing experience in the living room environment. Now, World of Goo is a great game developed by two fabulous independent developers. The object of the game is to grab balls of goo and build bridges, 
to build towers and ultimately have as many of those goo balls suctioned up by the pipe as possible in the fastest time as possible. So let's take a quick look. This looks a lot of fun. This is a great game. It's available on a variety of platforms. It's actually been recently released. So we're very happy to be able to make that available on the Intel architecture. Can you imagine just playing directly on set-top box or TVs? In the living room, and it's a family-oriented game as well. So this is something that certainly has appeal to absolutely everybody. That's great. So it's very exciting to see a, a PC title run on, on the C platform like this, you know? Well, we're always very excited to bring great gaming content to new platforms. It's the very essence of what trans gaming is uh, made up of, and it's a core foundation of what we're exceptionally proficient in. You know, that really shows the value of Intel architecture. So, you know, uh, when do you expect these kind of uh, games to be available on, on, on the C products in the marketplace? We expect to deliver the service in early 2010 with a select number of partners. And then we expect to scale very quickly, adding new CE device manufacturers, as well as content creators and service providers in the second half of 2010. That's great. I can't wait. Thank you. Neither can I. Thank you very much, Eric. It's been a pleasure. Because everyone. Thank you very much.